Hey, what's up guys? Max here. Let's run through the entire live stream that happened there at Kabam's today this morning on a Friday, beautiful Friday, first of the month, March. Exciting March because you already know it's my birthday. Okay, anyways, you're probably going to get bored of me announcing that. So, how will the saga create con connection? So, uh, this was, I guess, a question that might be in a couple of summoners or players' mind. So, it's champions, challenges, quests, and deals. Uh, basically, they run down these bullet points just to give us information on how this new saga situation that got added to the game really brings benefits to, like, every player out there. So, here's another bullet point um, slide that they created more connections, more purpose, more rewards. So uh, one thing that I found very interesting, which is another slide that they made, is that this is not going to be like rewards being taken away from like Alliance Quest, Battlegrounds, Alliance War, you know, um, and put into Saga. No, this is a whole new like development that creates like ways to get champions, ways to get resources. Um, it is going to require some items, of course, uh, but it gives back in return. Okay, so one of the biggest things that we're going to be seeing is basically a champion acquisition through Sagas. So uh, this time it's going to be Nightcrawler. Now, Nightcrawler, if you are Paragon and above, you're going to be looking at a seven star Nightcrawler as long as you get 120 rune stones. And that's what we're going to be looking at at how to acquire these rune stones. So that's going to be very important for you to get the best top reward when it comes to sagas right there's going to be rank up materials there's going to be items for sale there's going to be this whole event that's going to be a three month situation but the biggest cherry on top of it i feel it's going to be that seven star nightcrawler that you're going to be able to earn for free as long as you complete content um so here's a breakdown on runestone sources so like subject to change meaning like these are like very early and these are the possibilities these are the ways uh, for you to get those rune stones now it's got classifications on who can get how much based on your progression um, new content new rewards so this is kind of what I was talking about how like they don't basically uh, take away to give you know you a little bit more here in saga so it's gonna be new rewards um, and, and it's gonna be evolving so I hopefully that, like the next uh, saga that we see towards the end of the year and so on it keeps growing and growing and getting better and better uh, they, they don't kind of repeat copy paste copy paste the same situation I really hope that's not going to be the case um, and I really hope that they if they do a copy paste it's just for like two to three months you know it's not going to be like an ongoing like oh sagas are going to be the same copy paste like event quest you know and that's how boring is that right so new content challenge objectives monthly uh, paragon uh, gauntlet challenges Everest content tied with the woe currently that we're doing. Uh, there's going to be a new, uh, to be announced, Deathless King group piece that's going to be attainable through this. Uh, incursions, challenger, challenge selector. So a new sector, seven star challenge in which only uh, ex Magica champions can be used. I believe this is kind of how this is being uh introduce so it's there's going to be challenges um there's going to be ways to get obviously these pieces for that nightcrawler but it, it looks like it's going to be challenging too it's not going to be like just here do content and we're going to give you items that's kind of like the vibe that i was picking up from um kabam mike and kabam jacks when it comes to this content but it should be fun um and it should be entertaining and should get us involved with the game which is kind of what we want right we want them to create things so we can like have fun in it you know um but announce uh content so uh themed battleground season so we're starting to see that with the new season coming up uh that it, we're gonna see these boost being added to these champions now last time they did this it was uh it was a little bit of a problem we'll get to why uh game wide boost attack and health boost uh for x, x magica champions uh it's going to be a 10 percent boost across attack and health and the heist uh currently active which is what we're seeing which is basically the arena and using your seven star six stars to get those um stamps um but going back to what they try to do forget how long ago it was a few months ago is uh this battleground season like um boost right we had a uh these champions that got like this attack boost tech champions and they were described as x right class i had to keep a window open to figure out who it was that was getting that boost because for the love of like the game i could not remember this you know i you guys i can't remember the names of these champions how am i going to remember the class the tag of this champion that gives me the benefit for attack well, they solved that with this uh, Saga situation. So Saga badges are going to be implemented. 
And as you can see here, like Mantis, they're using her as an example. She is got the tag, that little icon, which is what we asked for. Um, or maybe they heard and saw the complaints of people like doing live battlegrounds and trying to, and having a screen open uh, just so they can know which one was a, a champion that got a boost or a you know attack boost. So here we go. It says highlight feature champions through a single saga event representation by indicators on champions uh, UI assess uh, across the game should help summoners identify collect rank up and select specific champion supplement by saga boost yeah so that's exactly this is a beautiful touch um i don't know if you guys caught this or if you watch the live stream if you're watching this uh kind of like rough quick quick and dirty um recap of the live stream but this is huge this is huge i mean everything is beautiful but this for me just making it like easier to like be able to do especially in battlegrounds this is this is where it's at battlegrounds is where it's easier uh, alliance war 2 is i'm sure it's going to help because we're going to people need to know what champion uh, applies attack boost um, you know that's a 10 percent attack and health so that's going to be beneficial but now here they talk about the magic heist which is currently active some questions i saw that people were wondering what what's going on with the stamps like we were getting these stamps and what happens it vanishes as soon as i hit claim uh Kabam Jax actually gives us I, I took a clip of the live stream you're going to see it here shortly of explaining what that what actually is happening with those stamps with all of these fights, we're doing something else that's brand new and exciting. We're doing raffle tickets. So every single time you elite one of these daily solo objectives, not only are you contributing to the rewards uh, and the solo event, but you're also getting an entry into the raffle. We are going to draw 10 seven star serpents and 100 six star serpents. And those will just go to well, accounts. I'm, I'm you don't have to something up. Go ahead. These are not all champs that are coming as seven stars. Oh yeah, guys. Yeah, no. Like magic's on here. She's still a five star. There's a and reason. it's still staying a five star. Rob, can we go to the wide for one sec real quick? Yeah. I saw conspiracy theories immediately. They're like... It's because of her? X magic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We announced Scarlet Witch is a seven star for top alliance wars. Yeah. We're talking about a buff to Nightcrawler. Yeah. If you missed that and that's new to you, <laughs> we're buffing Nightcrawler. And then they see magic and yeah. they're like, boom. Seven star match. Skip yeah. six. Go to seven. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> That's sorry. No. I just and so I wanted to add those clips of like any possibilities of a doubt that magic was going to come as a six star at least or a seven star. It looks like that was shut down completely. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So here they show, which we talked about before, the X Magica uh, champions hashtag and the uh, uh, basically all all the champions that are involved. They kind of give you different clips of those champions and you can see them here. Um, but yeah, man, this is kind of like a recap of the live stream. So the biggest thing, obviously, is that these champions are going to end up with a boost attack and health. Uh, there's a special arena. You can use this across the board from like event quests, battlegrounds, online quests incursions there's going to be special ways to pick up little resources throughout the three months of content uh to get that exclusive uh well not exclusive but to get that seven star nightcrawler that eventually is going to be inside of the crystal i'm sure uh and then they talk about rank of materials because there's going to be obviously some sell some items that, that for sell they also talked about that too um and they kind of gave out a vibe that they're not pushing on the sell items which they said but um that everything that's revolved around saga is going to be attainable for now um and then obviously if you want to skip ahead and, and just even get a stronger account deck you know you're gonna they're gonna sell some items for sure it's just it's it's un it's just it's known it is what it is like guys it's a business right and we know this i always talk about this so um yeah guys this is this live stream hopefully you guys enjoy the small quick recap of everything try to be as fast as possible drop a like on the video i'll see you on the next one take care why does uh kabam jacks looks like he's in trouble <laughs> he's got that like oh sh oh damn did i say something wrong <laughs> all right guys drop a like see you on the next one peace